Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. Just continuing with the video is about Homebox open source inventory management system. Just want to show you guys how it works on mobile. Now there is no uh, smartphone app for either Android or iPhone, but the performance is pretty decent just through a regular browser. So as you can see, second row on the far left of my Homebox, I've just added a little Chrome widget and it just makes it really quick to get into like with one touch. So I'm connected to my home box over uh, Wi-Fi, I guess. And the performance is actually really decent. So let me just add something. We got new internet yesterday. Uh, so we got a fiber router and I want to buy a um, little NAS for it. So I'm just gonna uh, record this as a thing. So I'm gonna call it B fiber router. And it just has, I just gave it the label electronics as well. So I'm gonna click create. And as you can see, it's created in the system. It's got the, it's got itself an asset ID. I can pull up a QR code for it. And just again, showing you guys the performance, it's pretty good um, over just this, you know, little, almost works, I would say. I'm not sure an app would actually really add that much to it. Something cool you can do is, as you can see, um, I can actually, you can actually take photos on the fly and add them directly to your items. But I'm just going to want put in ones that I've, taken i just did one of the plug adapter because i need to see exactly what kind of uh dc supply it gives so i can buy the right ups and let's just add one of the actual thing itself just for uh you know just to be thorough i'm gonna click save and to state the obvious what's happened is that i'm hosting this on a synology nas and uh it's just saved this all the stuff's been saved on the nas and you can see i can now access it and i'm actually accessing the photos via the um, NAS and it's perfectly fast. Even doing this over tail scale on the remote network, um, it's actually pretty good, it's fine. It's very, very usable. And uh, so although there is no app at the moment, um, it's actually quite capable doing all this stuff from the smartphone. So that's it.